African penguins are endangered. Their population has declined something like 70% over the last decade. When penguin parents are molting, they don't have their swimming feathers. They're losing all of their feathers at once. It's called a catastrophic molt. So they cannot get in the water and get food for themselves or their chicks, which doesn't normally overlap with raising a chick. But it does right now due to things like climate change and different tides and different currents taking the fish to different places. SANCOP stands for the Southern African Foundation for the Conservation of Coastal Birds. They assess the condition of the chicks. If the chicks start to look like they're dehydrated or underweight, and you can see obviously that a parent is in molt, then that's when they decide to pull the chicks and bring them in. Well, we've been partnering with SANCOB over the last few years. And they actually call for people that have penguin experience to come to South Africa and help SANCOB. By the time we got there, they had 460 chicks that were already brought into the facility. By the time we left two weeks later, they were over 500. Our days were very long. We started our day at seven o'clock and we fed the chicks from seven until when we left, which could be 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m. We worked anywhere from 150 to 170 chicks, getting fed six times a day. The reason that we tube and feed them so many times a day is because they are on a schedule to pack some weight onto those little guys because they don't want to re-release them until they are a certain weight, they are waterproofed, and they are ready to go. We'd also do things like clean the pen in between feeds. We would swim the birds if they were able to swim because their feathers weren't good enough. We would do medicals with them, help the veterinarians pull blood, take weights and measurements, all of that. Very exciting. Every penguin has its own personality and they can be very demanding about what they want or they can be very standoffish. It depends on their mood for the day. There are stakeholders in Southern Africa that are working on a biodiversity management plan for the African penguins. Data gathering is in process right now. SANCOB is a major stakeholder and a major player in that. They're doing a lot of research. 06 and 07, they really started. They noticed there was a mass abandonment and so they pulled, I think, something like 800 chicks that year and reared them and re-released them and followed those chicks and they found that it's working. Those chicks are just as successful, if not more, than parent-reared chicks. This year, that's 534 chicks that would have died had they not been pulled and fed. 